Hi there, customer experience enthusiasts. This is Dominic, the customer experience guy, Dominic, the Zendesk guy. Welcome to another video. Today's topic is going to be skill-based routing. So another question of yours, and this was a request, so I'm happy to do it. And it's also a topic which I've not necessarily covered in, uh, in um, the Zenda setup uh, playlist, which is, if you don't know, it's a playlist that I've done based on um, yeah, a methodology that I've perfected throughout my eight years of experience. I've also worked at Zendesk and I've applied the same methodology and I've improved it with my experience as well. Zendesk has implemented it for thousands of projects, so it's available. It's in my playlist somewhere. You'll see it. It's called Zendesk Setup. It's 12 hours course, a 12 hour course. 17 uh, videos in total, it's worth at least 8K. So yeah, go see it, it's amazing. In the description, you will see a um, two eBooks, one for optimizing your Zendesk and the other one for 10 processes you can um, you can automate in Zendesk. So you just can focus on their important tasks and not on repetitive ones. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dominic. I am a customer experience expert. I've been in the customer experience for 14 years. I've been a Zendesk consultant for the past eight years. I have been a Zendesk partner for the past two years, moving to three now. I have worked at Zendesk and I'm here to share some of that knowledge. Now, before we begin the discussion about skill-based routing, Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please like this video and also speak, uh, comment if you want to see some special content. So skill-based routing. This is a topic for the ages and it's amazing. It's an amazing tool, a feature from Zendesk, which I recommend you use. However, you have to uh, push the brakes on your excitement because it's not necessarily all fun and games and it's not a walk in the park if you don't know what you're doing. I know everyone just wants to skip towards the part, yeah, where you, where I show you how to click or where to click, <laughs> which is fair, I get it, but you also ha have to understand the theory. You don't go around setting something up without, um, without properly understanding it. So the skill-based routing in Zenesk is a <clears throat> routing um, alternative to using whatever uh, you're using right now. It's a relatively new feature. It's been around for a few years, but it's an alternative to, um, to how you're doing things uh, or how you are used to thinking about doing things in Zendesk, right? So because normally how you have things set up <clears throat> is that if a ticket comes in and if, it, uh, if it's in German, then you assign it to the German group. If a ticket comes in and it's about billing, you assign it to the billing group, right? So this is, um, let's say the classical way or the traditional way of thinking about um, creating routing rules and routing matrices in, in your organization. In this case, it's a little bit different. And I'm going to walk you through how to do that. Uh, but before I do that, again, let's understand what we're doing. So this is not something that you want to roll out. If you're roll out directly. You want to have a conversation with your team. You want to have a conversation with your team leader and you want to talk about the skills, right? So it's uh, paramount. It's, um, it's the most important thing in your case. You have to discuss, to have an open discussion with your team and not just plan by yourself, but talk. This is an open discussion. First thing, first question that you have to ask yourself. So what are the skills that you support in your Zendesk or in your organization, okay? And the recommendation is that you start with a small group of people, a small, uh, let's say, uh, a test. You do a test first before you, you roll it out to everyone. And the reason why that is, is because um, you have to understand how it works. You have to set it up after you have this conversation with your uh, with your team after you write down the skills and who those skills are attributed to and then you have to uh, um, set that up in Zenesk and you also have to uh, make yourself part of those skills so you are able to see and test and see how this works for you. My recommendation and my two cents are if you've not used it to start with something simple and then you can gradually grow from there. In my example from today, I'm going to show you how to set skill-based routing for languages. This is going to bypass a lot of problems inside your uh, inside the routing matrix because it's going to make things very automatic and I'll show you how to do it. 
again, start simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Don't try to go overboard. Try to start with a very minimal setup about skill-based routing and grow from there. Start with two, three skills, and that's it. Um, well, that's a lot. Start with one, and in this case, uh, language, for example, and uh, start with the three variations of that language, and then grow from there with, um, with your agent's capability. So not just language, you can apply whatever you want. So you can apply, for example, the level of training that the agent have, you can apply um, uh, mechanisms that work, how we work, how you work in your company, like uh, billing, finance, uh, tech, delivery, I don't know, this is up to your organization, uh, your organization's uniqueness. And the beautiful thing about my job is that all companies are a little bit different. No one company, no one company, no two companies are alike. And that's why it's uh, creating diversity. And I like my job a lot because there's always something new, which I love. Okay, so let me share my screen and I'll show you how to add skill-based routing, how to set it up, and then uh, we'll run some tests to, yeah, to make you um, comfortable and to make you accustomed to how it looks like. So you'll be able to do it by yourself. And I will encourage you to please ask me questions in the comments. Um, and yeah, let's uh, take your Zendesk to the moon. <laughs> okay, so let me share my screen. Here we go. All right, so hopefully you can see my screen. Good, so um, I am here in my admin center and I am go to, uh, I'm going to go to objects and rules. And first I'm going to go to routing, right? Before you turn this on, think about all your business rules um, that are already doing routing, right? So you're going, to, you're going to want to deprecate, gradually deprecate those and start using this one. So without proper planning, don't even think about starting this, okay? Because you will create more confusion than you will, um, more than you will solve things. You will overcomplicate things and just create a mess in your system. So what I'm going to do first, as I mentioned, I'm going to add a new skill type. And then in the skill type, I am going to add uh, types of skills. So a skill type right now, I'm going to call language. Language. So I have created my skill type. Now I'm going to create a skill. First one is English. Oop. English. I have a new one that I want to set up. German. And then I have a third one which is going to be Swedish. Bow. All right, so I have added my skill type and I have added my uh, skills. Now I need to assign agents to these. So, and besides assigning the agents, I will show you how to set up conditions for how to make this differentiation because this is where you essentially replace whatever uh, routing rules you have set up with your triggers, you assign them here. In my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine I'm running a business which um, runs in three different countries. It runs in England or uh, UK, US, and any other speaking um, English language speaking country, but I'm based in Europe, so I'm just going to imagine it's a UK in Germany and in Sweden. Okay, so it's run, it runs in three places and I have created a brand for each of these three, um, three languages or three regions that I run my business in. So um, my condition is going to be like all tickets belonging to the brands, which is uh, relevant to the English language or which is relevant to um, UK. <laughs> So I do these unedited. I know it's uh, it's more it's like a streaming. I'm streaming essentially, so um, I don't have time to do video editing. But if I mispronounce a word or I make an awkward pause, it's much like real life. You know, you just uh, um, pronounce the word correctly, or you uh, say you're sorry and whatever, and you just go about your day. <laughs> All right, so. I'm going to say if the my brand is, and let's call this uh, Art Pharma. All right, never mind. This is the name. And then add an agent because that's the only criteria I want. And I'm going to set a brand and I'm going to set an agent for each brand. And I'm going to show you how that looks like. Uh, I'm going to assign George to this. 
then I'm going to save it. I am going to go to my German skill and I'm going to say my brand in German. So brand is my brand in German. And my brand in German is going to be this one. And I'm going to assign the agent. I'm going to assign myself, this guy, assign him German language, save it, Swedish. And we're going to say brand is uh, Dominic's brand. And this is my Swedish brand. And then I'm going to assign an agent for Sweden. Yeah. Uh, Michael is going to be my Swedish agent. Yeah, save. All right, so now I have assigned, I have created my routing rules, which is a very simplistic approach, of course, but it's very reflective of how of many setups that I've seen in so far. Um, I have been able to assign a language for each brand. I assume that I have a company which runs in three countries and I have a brand set up for each of those countries okay so and i have assigned only one agent because yeah this is just trying to exemplify what to do okay now i'm going to leave this as it is because right now i have assigned the skills okay so now if i go to my support i am going to be able to see my oh i have no internet now sorry about that let me reconnect well, video editing would have been good now. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, so going to my support, I am going to go to my agent's profile and I'm going to set my skill, right? So first I set the skills, I set a skill type and I set the skills and then I need to assign the skills to the agents, okay? So I'm going to go to my personal agent profile. Boom, this is, my, this is me. And I'm going to go here. Yeah, skills German. I have already done that. Uh, but yeah, I can delete it, go to language, and then choose German. And that's going to be me. Then I am going to go to Michael. Uh, let me search for him and users and assign him to the Swedish brand or the Swedish language, here we go. It's already assigned, right? So I've assigned it and it's here and uh, this is what it looks like, okay? So very important to know, not uh, this skills-based skills -based routing does not apply to all tickets, okay? This just forget about it. It only applies to whatever comes into the system after you've set it up, okay? So this works now, I have set it up. My agents are have their skills, all good. Now, if I go to my views, I want to make the differentiation and I want to see uh, my tickets in here based on the skill, based on the skills that I have. These are, these are global views. So my tickets is, uh, is directly linked with myself being a, um, uh, my tickets, obviously, it's uh, with my uh, current user, feature okay so let me show you that uh assignee is current user okay so the reason why i'm bringing this up and i know i'm not having the right the perfect words right now it's because assignee is current user we're going to have the same kind of global approach to skill is agent's skill right so we're going to apply this to my tickets we're going to apply the condition to only show me um, tickets that are relevant to my skill and if Michael is going to look at the same view, he's going to see tickets that are relevant to his Swedish language um, skill. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a say this is less than solved. Uh, assignee is current user, so me, because I'm looking at right now at the view. And I'm going to say, going to look for a skill. Here we go. Skill is, and I'm going to say current user skill. Okay, now I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back to my support and you'll see that there will be a surprise. And that surprise is, right? So I'm in my tickets in here, I have 63 tickets. Now, after I refresh, because I mentioned you, to you that uh, skill-based routing does not apply to anything in the past, boom, zero tickets, right? So nothing new has been created, hence no tickets. 
Okay, now let's make the test. Let's see how this works. Okay, let's do some testing. So um, I'm going to test with my account because I am the agent that speaks German. Jawohl. And I will test with the German brand. I have already forgotten which brand was that in skill based routing. So I have to check which brand that was so I can, for example, create a ticket for that brand via email. So let's see routing and the brand that I said would be the German brand would be, is Dominic CX. How could I even forget? doesn't matter, but I did forget. So now I'm going to take an email of the Dominic CX brand and I'm going to send the test ticket and see if that works. So Dominic CX, here we go. Let's take this email, copy it. Okay, now. Let's go back to our support. I'm going to grab an email. Uh, let's send a test ticket. So test ticket to see if German skill is applied and if ticket appears in uh, my tickets view. Okay, this should be clear enough. Uh -huh. Ticket has been sent. So I'm sending an email to that, um, to the email associated with the brand that I am a member of and that is assigned with the German skill, the German language skill. Now, let's see if this works. Do, 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 let's refresh. Okay. Oh, here we go. It's in here. And here we go. Skill is, is German. Okay, this is very good. So the ticket has been created, right? Ticket, test ticket to see if German skill is applied. And a ticket appears in my tickets view. Well, obviously it doesn't appear in my tickets in my ticket view because obviously it's not assigned to me, is it, right? Assignee is the group. And if I take this and I assign it to myself and I go back to my view, here it is. All right, sorry for the small hiccup, but yeah, obviously it cannot be assigned to me if I, if. I don't assign it to me. So if nobody assigns it to me, but anyway, here it is, right? So it's the ticket, which test ticket to see if there, and it's appears to in my view. Test ticket to see if German skill is applied and the ticket is uh, appears in my in my ticket view. Skill added, agent has the skill. Um, skill based routing for this view applied based on current users skill applied. So this is how it works. Okay. Um, that's it. That's, that's essentially, that's essentially it. This is how you would use uh, skill based routing. And I encourage you to please give this a test, please uh, try it out. It's a wonderful uh, feature for you to use, but without proper planning, without proper testing, not fun, not fun. You're just making things more complicated for yourself and you don't want that. If things are complicated, then that means resolutions are complicated, which means uh, directly links to customers being unsatisfied because you're not attending to them, to their needs as fast as you need to because you're figuring out where the tickets are and you don't want to waste time on that. Okay, so this has been the video about skill-based routing. I hope this was useful and I will see you in the next one and take care. I love you, bye.